Takpreneur Charles Oduk, the founder of Smart Farming Solution, dubbed as M. Shamba, has a unique farm in Kwanza City in Makuweni County, Kenya. He has a 250 square meters greenhouse, which is fully automated with some of the most advanced hydroponics farming technology that are rare in Kenya and Africa. This is the biggest smart farming hydroponics greenhouse in Africa. We actually control uh, all the chemicals and fertilizers from one end. We don't have to physically come here. The greenhouse integrates IoT technology to maximize farm harvest volumes up to 20 times more than that of open field farming. The technology also uses accurate soil crop data and self-correcting algorithms that does allows farmers to make pre-informed decisions. Uh, with, the, with the M Shamba smart farming uh, device, basically it captures real-time data. So most of it we usually take it from the media. So of course this is the return water. So when, when we are pumping up, we just tap a bit of it that captures the whole data and then it's displayed on the screen. So you can see there is the temperature of the environment generally and then there is temperature of the media. So basically uh, what, kind of, what is the temperature that the crops actively uh, get and then of course there is humidity. So it's just a plug and play system like this is a light, light intensity detector. So right now it will tell you that it's quite high. So all that data is collected via a plug and play system. If you can look here, it's just the same way you plug in your phone when you're charging. So you just... Uh, like for instance, just like that. So what we do is we usually send the customer this and then it's a plug and play. So you just push it in like that and the data should already be displaying. So we have now connected this to what we call the back end or rather the programmed um, APIs that are now able to self auto correct. So once maybe they realize that the pH of water going down there is too much, it should be able to lock down on the, on the intake of the, of the fertilizers or rather, or rather the chemicals and then inject pure water or maybe the lighting is too low so it should turn some sort of lighting up. Yeah, all that system is automated via a single unit and then additionally you as the customer, you get a text message uh, basically telling you that uh, so and so, the, your temperature today was this, uh, tamp pump was turned on at this time. Yeah, so the, everything, everything is just automated. Yeah, we're looking up, up to 95% automation with the, with, with the M-Shamba Digital. Charles targets farmers in small-scale subsistence to viable large agribusiness to help them increase their yields. I mean, if, if you go to Northeastern right now, the, the amount of money that we spend, or rather the amount of money that food is produced at, at the farm, is five times in, in, in the Northeastern region. So what if we could actually... Uh, sensitize them to use this kind of, or rather adapting this kind of a system. I, I mean, we could literally end hunger. Charles started this innovation project in late 2017, just after he graduated top of his class with a degree in mechatronics engineering at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. He developed the project with money he got from well wishes alongside what he got from a government grant. He believes the idea will help in arid and semi-arid areas in Kenya to develop in farming. The technology itself also is uh, for any, source, any sort of agricult agricultural uh, technology. So basically it's not constricted to hydroponics. It can be open field farming. It can be even, uh, in some cases we even do uh, uh, aquaponics. Aquaponics is now hydroponics plus fish. He says his unwavering passion in developing tech solutions for Africa remains unshaken. My end goal with all this is I want to introduce this to almost every single place in Africa. But of course I love to start with my country. Um, so my goal is within the next two to three years I should have a, around a thousand greenhouses in any, in any location. Strawberries, kales, spinach, cherry tomatoes, bell paper, lettuce, broccoli, pak bok choy, onions, mint, basil, and thyme herbs do well under smart farming hydroponics greenhouse.